the traders and welcome to a new video where we're going to be looking at blockchain metrics to compare to the price of Bitcoin. So this is a another website that I got from my Discord known as bytetree.com and what you're looking at right here is the glossary of terms that we're going to be looking at. Uh, I will be linking this page as well. I don't want to have to you know go through all of these but this is the glossary. Now what this site gives us access to is a ton of data on Bitcoin transaction value, NVT ratio, and really a lot of the blockchain metrics that I don't typically talk about on my channel. Typically I talk about trading related metrics, but I wanted to make this video to provide this just completely free resource as the time being it's currently free uh, so that any traders who can get more value out of this can be able to trade this. Now, one thing that I do want to say, or a few things that I do want to say before we launch into the fun of blockchain metrics is that, well, the first thing is apparently there's been some scammer or some uh, account who copied my name and is messaging or emailing people. If, if it's coming from, you know, Bitcoin trading challenge, just, I don't know, make sure that it's not, that it's actually me. I know that can be hard to prove sometimes, um, but if you are ever worried if someone's me or not, just contact me on Discord because I'm the only one with my name on Discord at, that I know. And then I can tell you if it's a message from me or if it's not a message from me because I don't want anyone, you know, who's impersonating me to get something. Also, um, I have provided just a ton of resources and a ton of websites and some traders may be overwhelmed by just the amount of mass information and data that I'm throwing at you guys. The reason I do that is to provide as many tools as possible for as many different types of traders. There's going to be some guys and girls out there who like to trade order depth. There are going to be other people who like to trade blockchain metrics, you know, i.e. today. There are other traders who want to trade against liquidations, price action volume, Fibonacci, um, peer volume, you know. Just there's so many ways to do this kind of game. And what I find is to cast a wide net is the best way to just get every single person to have their own trading strategy that is unique to them. So, without further ado, bytetree.com. Okay, we're two minutes in. Sweet beans. So this is transaction value. As you can see, fees is percent of transaction value, the fair value. This is basically seeing, are we, is Bitcoin at a discount or at a premium as um, related to its blockchain? The velocity of transactions and the first spend after Bitcoin, a Bitcoin has been mined. You can see some metrics here as well. But one of my favorite parts of this is this right here. You can get this kind of data in a lot of places, but I still want to look at it because what we're looking at here is transaction value and first spend, but let's first just focus on transaction value. Now you see the price of Bitcoin and I do see one spike in transaction value that occurred and let me know where you see it on the chart. Okay, so I see it on September 24th where we had $1.18 billion um, worth in transactions right before this price dump. Now, the, these kinds of values, transaction value, is not the same as Bitcoin traded volume. This is a very different kind of metric. And you can see that we had a major spike before we got major volatility or just a major trend. Now, what you do with this information, of, of course, is up to you. Um, but maybe the way that you can interpret it is this could be a sign for higher volatility. If you see many transactions that are getting larger and larger, you could expect that in the near future there could be high volatility which you could take advantage of using options or using some other um, directional uh, trading opportunities as well. So you can see here, there's just so much data and I'm not gonna be able to just parse through everything. And I also wanna keep this video kind of short. I don't wanna have another 25 minute video of me talking about the blockchain of Bitcoin and how we can trade based off that. But you can see here that, and we also have supply, that this site um, just has a wealth of data on what to use, as you can see here. One of another one, really one, really another good one is they actually have an inflation value for Bitcoin, as you can see here, and the current total supply, which I think is pretty cool as well. I'm just scrolling, just looking at this data, being like, oh, cool, cool, cool. Look at all this stuff. This is one of the more popular ones, the network value chain transaction, the NVT. This one is for sure one that I've heard talked about many, many times. As you can see here, complexity of the blocks and so on. So this has just been, I, I wanted, my goal for this was just to do a, a quick five minute show of what this is. 
Um, maybe I will keep this at five minutes, but it's a, this is quite interesting for me. So that's why I'm just having a total blast here just looking at this. Deer. A high reading is deer. Okay. Did Google Translate fail them, or is that a meaning that I... <laughs> Did Google Translate... Whatever. I'm not going to make fun of whoever didn't speak English correctly here. Maybe that actually does mean something. Historically, for Bitcoin, it's been most profitable to buy when below 5. Now, that's important right there. Golly gee. Okay. So when MVT is below 5, it tends to lead to an uptrend, is what they're saying. Let's go back down to MVTBT. Yeah, so one week, it's not below 5, so... Perhaps not a great buy right now because of the NVT ratio. Yeah, this glossary has been super helpful for me for just learning what these blockchain metrics are, and you guys are learning right alongside me. This is how they get inflation. Hmm. Transaction value. This is this is one of the ones that I had mentioned. As you can see here, supply, relative high, relative low. And it's not just Bitcoin that this has. This also has. When I go home, you can see Ethereum. Or does it not do Ethereum? Wait, I I, I misspoke. Uh, Bitcoin Cash. But let's look at Litecoin. Let's look at the Litecoin blockchain metrics. going on with Litecoin here? Let's see where any significant transactions occurred. Oh wow, we are all over the place with that. Big transactions here. $29 million, 20.9.5, and then price falls, as you can see here. Really no transactions here, and just nothing happened. And then when we got more transactions, things began to happen to fuel the volatility. Interesting. What's this guy's NVT? Oh, this guy's NVT is much lower. So yep, that's going to do it. I did not reach the goal of having this just be a five minute video. You know, that was a pipe dream of mine. But what I wanted to do with this video is to just give you guys a platform to give you guys just this free resource that you can use um, for blockchain metrics. Now, can you apply all this to Bitcoin trading? Not exactly. You can apply, you can apply some of this to Bitcoin trading, uh, medium term and potentially more longer term. But these, this is a little bit more of an abstract type of data set. Now, if you're interested in learning any more about uh, different ways of trading, I have two guides in the uh, links in the description below. And also what I want you guys to do is this was one of my Patreon suggested voted videos. If you guys have any other videos that you'd like to vote, then you can click my Patreon, join it, and vote on or suggest any video that you would like to, to see in the future. With that, happy checking the blockchain, and let's hope that NVT ratio gets a little bit lower.